the situation has changed and we are in a new phase of the pandemic. I bring this legislation forward tonight because I believe this is the right time. In a unanimous vote, Columbus City Council chose to get rid of the mandate following the recommendation from Columbus Public Health. Mayor Andrew Ginther quickly signed the ordinance. Then TV's Krista Frost is live downtown with more on what this really means. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. So you might not want to throw these away just yet because while masks aren't any more required in the city of Columbus for anyone who lives here, it's still a good idea because there are businesses and restaurants which could make their own rules and decide to still require these if that's what's comfortable for them. But as you mentioned, city council, they reversed that decision to make masks mandatory. So now it's an option and they actually voted for the most part yesterday. It was Mayor Ginther right after that vote. He decided, you know what, I'm going to side on side off on this right now. So it's it's now fully in effect starting today. He actually released a statement following signing that saying that we're encouraged by the declining number of cases and the line that the burden on our healthcare professionals and frontline workers has been greatly reduced. So while this change is here, it was just last week, the Columbus Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Myshika Roberts said the pandemic, it's still not over. She does say that the city is just in a new phase. So City Council President Shannon Harden, he echoed that posting a video last night just after this vote saying that while the masks are no longer required, that doesn't mean every Everyone's going to be comfortable taking them off. No mask shaming. You know, if folks want to wear a mask, that is perfectly fine. If institutions want to enforce uh, their own personal uh, mandates at their churches, at their restaurants, that is fine and that's their prerogative. And so that right there might be a reason just to hang on to a few of these masks before throwing them all away. Because we're seeing this change, there are still businesses, restaurants. Those owners can make their own rules if they'd like to. When it comes to those COVID guidelines, if they want to ask their customers to wear a mask when entering those establishments, that's something that they have the right to do. But for now, we're putting life in Columbus. Krista Frost, 10 TV News. All right, Krista, thank you so much for that. Despite the decision by Columbus, and Worthington City Council's, the Columbus Public Health Department is still recommending masks under these conditions. Take a look at your screen. Wear a mask if you're not vaccinated. Wear a mask if you have an underlying condition or if you live with someone who does. And if you have a child that's too young for that COVID-19 vaccine. Also, if you recently tested positive, you work in a healthcare facility or use public transportation, you should be wearing a mask.